Krista Campbell explains. In complications were not vaccinated. In the government is yet to make a decision on the matter. The Nurses Association of Jamaica is cautioning against any move that would make vaccination mandatory for healthcare workers. There have been calls in recent times for the government to implement strategies to force healthcare workers to take the job. Shamala Pullen reports. Greetings, 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 free people. Greetings, my American national, referring to the Awak Indian nation in America, that specific society. It's only a group of American national people, and that is our capacity. I must say greetings to the free Commonwealth citizens of this island which we are a part of, making us dual citizen, citizen of the Americas, naturally, according to that construct, and a British subject as Awak Indian. We can't do nothing about that claim. You have to talk to the people who create the British Nationality Act of 1948 in Section 2 there, Chapter 2, or Part 2, where it says citizenship by birth. So again, I really cannot speak to the citizen of Jamaica, per se, I'm not at liberty to really address you folks. I can only speak for the free people, the Awak people, the nationals, whether it's American national or British national, meaning Commonwealth citizen. That's unregistered, not a citizen of government of Jamaica. came across this news today and I found it interesting, very interesting. So I decided to just record and just give my opinion of which I am entitled by birthright, yeah, by my entitlement, yeah, I'm part of my fundamental rights and freedom. Now, I hear this news reporter saying the government forcing people. Now, that in and of itself <clears throat> is a violation of the Charter of Fundamental, <clears throat> excuse me, Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedom as amended. 2011. It's a complete violation of those constitutional laws which secure, protect, and guarantee not your human rights, but your fundamental rights and freedoms specifically. Let's continue. In the last few weeks, the two nurses who have died from COVID-19 complications were not vaccinated. Excuse me. Man, I'm really out of touch. Where is the two nurses died from COVID? Listen, people, I'm not one of those kind of men that's going to say, hey, not, not God said it, no. Something is out there. And I'm quite sure it's man-made. It's part of what is known as hogram, hogram. So it's very unfortunate to hear our two sisters died like this. Being a healthcare worker and all, so you know us, I'm caring people. So we say condolences to the families of these two Awakan sisters, condolences. 
In a previous interview with TVJ News, President of the Nurses Association of Jamaica, NAJ, Patsy Edwards Henry, said some of her members were still hesitant in taking the job, and so they have not made up their minds just yet. Since the issue came to public light that it was not just nurses but also medical doctors, there have been concerns. On Friday, Attorney General Marlene Malahu Fort disclosed This is the Attorney General, Madame Marlene Malibu Ford. Okay. Just want to make sure I'm a public servant's positions. But this is a very, very, very important position. Attorney General, it's a very important and significant position. So let's hear what the Attorney General has to say, because I think this is the very same lady that proposed some kind of bill to abridge, to abrogate, and to infringe upon that very fundamental rights and freedom of the people. She wanted to change that contract as it is. I'm not sure if she is successful. I'm hoping people realize these subtle changes, these subtle changes. Let's hear what Madame have to say. Day, Attorney General Marlene Malahu Fort disclosed that the issue of mandatory vaccination cannot be ruled out. The NH I tell you about this lady. These kind of people, you see what she look like? She don't look like our typical our Wakan woman. You can see she have foreign ancestry written all over her. But her pretty cool here. You know what I mean? Her pretty face. So this is how they deceive us. Images and imagery. Listen to her suggestions. J President says the impression is given that the member cannot be ruled out. The concerns on Friday. Attorney General Marlene Malahu Fort disclosed that the issue of mandatory vaccination cannot be ruled out. Hear what she is pushing her agenda. Mandatory vaccine cannot be ruled out. Who is she really speaking to? And why is the people allowing these foreigners to dictate terms and conditions talking about their well well being? I, listen, I don't need no one to tell me how to take care of myself. You know what I mean? And if I'm not hurting no one, listen, please don't speak to me. Yeah, man. Take that mandatory, unlawful, illegal practice somewhere else, Madam Malibu Ford. How can you be an attorney general? You're totally against the interests of the people. There is no way you can implement a mandatory vaccine without scientific data stating the specifics of this vaccination. There is no way you can say people who is implementing these vaccinations are immune. Now, man, I think your office Attorney General should be held liable fully and completely for any injury or illness caused by the people taking this vaccination. 
Yeah, man. It's not just your office. It's you. You should be held in your professional and in your personal capacity. Fully liable, Madam Malibu Ford, Attorney General. It is against the law of nature. It is against the law of the creator. It is also against the law of man. We as a people have a right to be free, madam. And it is very audacious of you to think you can implement some kind of vaccination mandatorily. You're out of order, madam. You're out of order, madam. The NAJ president says the impression is given that the members will have no choice in the matter. She says while she understands the reasons for the position taken, there are implications. Because when you say mandatory, it means you have to do it, whether you want to do it or not. Um, and I, I would want to believe that this interferes with one's human rights. I concur, madam. And I'm, I know as a bar member, you have to kind of dress up your narrative, kind of tippy in on that subject matter. It is not just a violation of their human rights. It's an absolute abrogation, infringement, and abridgment of their fundamental rights and freedom as per law, constitutional law. This is the violation, Madam Attorney, Patsy Edwards Henry, Madam. This is actually the violation. It's not just a violation against your human rights that was instated in 1948. But it's more so a violation of your fundamental rights that that ideology was instated in the 10th century, madam. And then it was reiterated in 1787, 1778. Also in the Declaration of Independence, 1776, where it says all men are created equal and as such are endowed with certain fundamental rights, to which our life, the right to life, the right to liberty, and the right to happiness in the form of pursuing and owning property. These are what is known as fundamental rights, along with many others. It has nothing to do with just human rights. These rights are fundamental. It's inherent. It's God-given. And it's only the adversary of God would initiate and implement change that will abrogate these very constitutional laws. And the Attorney General is obviously working for that adversarial energy, that adversarial spirit. Because your fundamental right, people, is always theistic, it's always God-given, every written law state that is only these policies that is being forced on the populace because they are unaware, they are distracted. So I'm happy this attorney is brave enough to step forward and at least subtly challenge the status quo because there has always been the right to choose and even although it is said that vaccinations for children are mandatory i 
still do think that person's truth to take this. Hear that? So not even the immunization, vaccination, none of those things are mandatory. You do not have to put your children through those kind of things. And they cannot restrict you from any government facility because you, the people, are the creator of the government. The government doesn't get special privilege and you don't. Adjust your status. Change that capacity. This foreign government is like a yoke. It's like a burden upon us. I'm a kill way. Really a kill way. <laughs> the children to get them immunized. So while we have this discussion, I implore the government to look at all the ramifications, all the legal wranglings, all the legal implications. Yeah, man, a lot of lawsuit. A lot of lawsuit, both on the state level and on the federal level. Yeah, man. Criminal charges of genocide, treasonous act, conspiring with foreign powers. These are the charges. So don't dress it up, Madam Attorney. With all due respect, don't dress it up. It's treason. It's treasonous acts. John. And Mrs. Edwards Henry disclosed that there are other legal issues which will have to be confronted if the government proceeds with mandatory vaccination for healthcare workers. We are now going to have to look at the employment contract. How do we write this into contract in midstream? A number of number of us have been employed for years. Do you now say it is mandatory and if we don't take it, um, it will affect our employment? It was never written into our contract. It was never a part of our employment. No, right there. That contract is void. Right there. That's a breach of the terms and conditions of those provisions laid out in those contracts because apparently when you start the employment and sign that contract there was no parole on none of these things so obviously it should not apply to you and they cannot compel you there is no system that can compel you to do nothing at all absolutely nothing at all that's when the system itself becomes despotic that's when you know you're under absolute tyranny. And we will never accept absolutely nothing like that here. Even when our people is fast asleep, we'll never accept nothing like that. So you people need to govern yourself accordingly. Yeah, man. Correct yourself. Meaning discipline yourselves, meaning take stock for yourselves, man. Get in line. This is an attorney who is a part of your guys' fraternity. And when the attorneys them start squeal out and scream out, I'm not sure how to take it. I'm not sure what kind of ploy is it. However, we appreciate love it. We do. So, while we understand and we, 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 we see that government seems to be wanting to do the right thing, we ask that they, they think this truth thoroughly before it is thrown out. Shimala Pulen, TVJ News. Gratitude, people. Gratitude. I had to share that little information and give my side a take on it. Because obviously, these public trustees are acting erratically. Yeah, man. We have a prime minister in place that is like a real Pinocchio. 
He's just jumping and jigging and doing a lot of crazy things and at the behest of his sponsors, his foreign sponsors. We have to open our eyes, open our mind, and ask ourselves the question, why is this happening? Next question is this. What can we do to stop this thing? Next question. Well, if we cannot stop this thing, how do we separate and remove ourselves from this construct? These are valid questions. These are valid questions. So as a step-by-step -step people, this race is not necessarily for the swift. It's not even necessarily for the strong. But it's definitely for those who can hold firm to the victorious end. So as free people, as people of this commonwealth, as national according to law and capacity, sovereign here to this estate, we say give thanks, we say salute. And we say complete gratitude, yeah man, to God be the glory, not I as man, I am just the creation, yeah man, to God be the glory, not I, yeah man, not I. So I say give thanks, step by step. Salute, Commonwealth citizen, my American Awak Indians, that specific society, Awak Indian nation in America, bold and brave, firm and strong. Now we are in our lawful capacity as British subjects. We don't mind. We don't mind. Not at all. For we are no citizens of Jamaica. That is for sure. So salute free people. I cannot speak to the citizens of Jamaica. So you guys have to excuse this broadcast. I can only speak to the Commonwealth people of Jamaica. And by extension, my American nationals and all free people across the earth. I remember a story that was told about some man they call Fira. And some man I'm called Moses. When I say, yo, warrior. I'm going to tell fear of the leg of the ones them in higher. Yeah, man. So Moses said, fear of. The Moses said, let I people go. Yeah, man. And I can tell my people this. Fear of. Let you, you people go a long time ago now. But you people love fear so much, you won't leave fear alone. <laughs> now this is your last hope. This is the last resort you might get. Your last chance this. You better catch on on this boat, on this canoe. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Upgrade your status. But we won't be out here like this. Upgrade that corporate construct is problematic 
its leaders is erratic. <laughs> Upgrade your status. Or let me rephrase that. Amend your status. It starts with a concept. It doesn't necessarily start with the actual paperwork. It starts with a concept. By you start moving around irrespective of what documentation you have. This is where you start to say, I, this sovereign man, duly sword, my intention to become a commonwealth citizen and not a citizen of Jamaica. So step by step, people. Step by step. Fear of. Fear of gratitude for letting my people go. It is just sad to see my people is so in love with fear. Of. They just can't let fear of go. So my progeny won't be able to blame fear of and say fear of and slave those people. My progeny will be able to say, those people, by their own choice, choose to remain with fear. It's a choice. Gratitude for your time. Gratitude for your presence. Salud. Now yoho when get cured. Now yoho. And get kyo. No, yo ho, renge kyo. Give thanks and praise to the mystic law of the universe and its protective functions and forces in nature that guide our thoughts and our path in our ways that are lawful, correct, and positive. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. Yeah, man. Salud.